Today you go stand up paddling at Lake Fark in Austria. You want to discover this alpine lake with clear turquoise water and there's no better way than doing this from your stand up board. It's the first time you're doing this sport and therefore you start on your knees to get a feeling for it. It's a little wobbly at the beginning, not that easy to balance it out since you're floating on the water and do not have a solid ground underneath you. It's rather a slow start as you're still quite busy balancing, not being able to really focus on paddling forward. You accept that knowing that you will get better. There's no rush, you're sure you will get faster eventually. You're not at a lake yet anyway, you think. You start at a tiny pond that is connected with the lake by reed meander where you find yourself right now and which winds idyllically towards the lake. It is idyllic for sure, the reed reflecting in the water plus the quietness except from a few birds that are singing. What a wonderful place to start your session. The only thing, the pretty the meander looks, it is giving you a hard time forcing you to turn constantly. But you got more comfortable already, you balanced out the board and can focus on paddling more. Still, you remain sitting on your knees a little longer to practice turning the board. You made quite some progress already, but still a little to go to reach the lake. However, in a distance you spot something different. There's a kayak coming. All your turning skills you just learned are required now. You take the pedal in the left hand, make a few pedal strokes which push you to the right so you won't crash. You mastered that brilliantly, well done. Soon I'm ready to stand up you think proudly. You continued meandering your way forward, putting up speed by continuously pushing with the pedal and now the canal gets wider. You instantly realize what this means, you are approaching the lake. This is exciting, those wide views it's offering you now are amazing. That delivers. You had a clear vision of what it could look like. You floating on the middle of the lake, contemplating the crystal clear water and enjoying views on the mountains which flank the lake. And here you are, experiencing what you dreamed of this morning. Once more it pays off to get up moving. It just takes you to the most beautiful places, you think. The lake is pretty shallow, so you have the heart to stand up. Again, it's a bit wobbly as the center of gravity changed, which means that you need to balance out again. But you mastered this perfectly. That was easier than expected. You didn't even slow down a lot and continue paddling in the standing position. After a while, you feel very comfortable on the board and can enjoy the scenery a lot better. Your vision is no longer a vision, but the reality. A beautiful reality. Even the high mountains you imagined now pop up to your right, complementing the picture perfectly. You're getting closer to an island, which is in the middle of the lake, and for the first time you ask yourself where you want to go. You do not really have a clear goal or a destination where to go. You want a good workout and keep going until you really worked off your energy. You decide to go right and then just see where it takes you. It probably doesn't really matter. It is beautiful wherever you look. And with the sky clearing, the color of the water is only getting more impressive. 
You see another person on the sub and admire the aesthetics. It makes you so content knowing that you are able to do this too. This is a sport that exactly feels like it looks when watching other people doing it. It has a calming effect on your mind, but is engaging a range of different muscles and thus has a great effect on the body too. It's so exciting to explore a lake from the water. The perspective is totally different, you think, than passing a landing stage at the island. Most times you would have the views from there or from the house you see to your left. You assume that this is a hotel, at least you think that would make a great place to spend your holidays. Just like the guys you see ahead of you, having a blast jumping into the water over and over again. Without knowing, they deliver quite a spectacle for you, which you are happy to watch. You slowly moved away from the shore, right to the middle of the lake. From here you have incredible views and can't decide what's prettier, the mountains in the background or the clear water. Probably a mix of both, you think. Having seen this side of the lake, you can't wait to enjoy views to your left. That's why you start paddling back towards the island, following along the shoreline all the way to the upper end of the island where you take a left turn. Wow, 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 the water reflections are even more fascinating looking in this direction. The big cloud at the sky is one to one reflected on the water. You can't believe it, views are great and then you get to see them twice. You are speechless, mainly due to the surroundings, but also because you are out of breath now. You were working pretty hard and starting to feel that. Intermediately you thought you would surround the island fully and then go back, but you realized that this was a bit too optimistic. While it looks like people are moving forward effortlessly, it does get actually quite exhausting. So you make a decision. You'll go to the shore directly in front of you, where you'll end the trip. And that means you can continue contemplating the water reflections. Knowing that gives you energy to keep going. Also watching the boats on the lake are not failing to distract you. Especially the tiny blue one in the back of the slide is attracting you. So funny, knowing this is made for kids, it makes you smile seeing adults having the time of their lives sliding down, plopping into the water. You could easily imagine doing the same and think that it's a good characteristic to keep your inner child and the ability to enjoy those simple moments of joy. Unfortunately, you realize after a while that the wind is playing straight in your face. That makes it even harder to move forward. Instead of slowing down on the last part of your trip, you have to work even harder to move forward at all. Well, you said you want to work over your energy, you remind yourself, and now you have to push through. And a workout would be boring if it wasn't demanding, right? You talk to yourself while increasing the stroke rate with the pedal. It's getting really challenging now. It's not only the breeze blowing, but also the flow of the water which is against you. But you don't want to complain. This place doesn't deserve to complain about. And also you're nearly at the shore, just a few hundred meters to go. To not think about the pain, you envision what you will do here later. For sure going for a swim, you think. You can't wait to jump into the lake. It's said to be one of the warmest lakes in Austria. Right now, I would jump in the lake no matter how cold you say to yourself. And 
you would jump immediately if you hadn't decided to go to the shore. That's where you're off to now. Don't stop, you're nearly there. There's a floating platform which you target as your finish point. There you can rest and jump in the water. That vision spores you. Come on, let's go. Don't stop now. Keep moving and end this trip successfully. Once more you came so far, you started slow but progressed a lot. And you pushed even harder when it was the most difficult. That's so strong. You worked hard and earned the reward. You'll jump in the water and celebrate your journey. You made it. I'm impressed. That's moments we move for.